41 years after it was first staged, Jesus Christ Superstar is back with a very modern twist. It was just on the back of the, the riots and, you know, of course, with the Tottenham riots and all that, um, it, that stuff happening last year. And when we started looking at the sort of modernisation of it, that seemed very relevant to, to the story. I think, you know, some people will be surprised at the direction that the show has taken, you know, with its modern feel. But it's, you know, it's so out there, I was quite surprised. And as soon as I got into rehearsals, it all made sense. The cast includes former Radio 1 DJ Chris Moyles as King Herod and comedian Tim Minchin as Judas Iscariot. The show is loosely based on the last few weeks of Jesus' life. I turned up for my first rehearsal a couple of weeks ago and thought, this is not for me. I'm massively out of my comfort zone. People are doing backflips and jumping up and down and singing and I'm like, eh, it's not my thing. But by the end of the day, I was madly in love with it and uh, I'm, I can't wait to get started. Given Lord Lloyd Webber is today very much an establishment figure, it's easy to forget that when he wrote this musical, he was anything but. Back in the early 70s, many found Jesus Christ Superstar hugely controversial, a subject matter totally unsuitable for the stage. There were protests when it opened on Broadway, yet its popularity has endured. The show's since been staged in 42 countries, and casting this latest production was the remit of an ITV talent show. There's real pressure, isn't there, for you to prove yourself to, to other actors who, who don't go on reality shows. Proven to the people that voted for me, you know, people that invested their money and their votes on the TV show to actually, you know, put me and cast me in this role, because it was the public that did it. You know, the pressure is more to prove myself to them. You know, I'm not really, I'm not looking to prove myself to any of my contemporaries. Superstar wasn't the ratings hit ITV had hoped for, but producers seem confident this production will draw crowds. Huge venues such as the O2 in London and the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham await. Unconventional settings for what always was an unconventional show. Tim Muffet, BBC News.